Hi there, this is Alvin, and welcome to Kickstart Commerce, where I share with you search marketing and digital strategies to help you grow your business. In today's tutorial, I'd like to share with you uh, how to use Facebook's Graph API uh, 3.2 to retrieve engagement activity about a given URL. Visit kickstartcommerce.com, which you're looking at here. Um, then over in the trending topics you'll see I actually wrote about this not too long ago how to use Facebook graph API version 2.x to uh, retrieve the count for URL likes shares and comments and so it's a pr pretty popular uh, article that was written at the time and basically walked you through uh, the necessary details of how to use uh, PHP and PHP built-in um, curl option to retrieve the like and comments and um, just to share activity for a given URL and so here is the code that we used and basically this code would spit out um, this information here or rather basically that same code spits out this information so when executed in a web browser it should look like the following and it gives you you know the likes um, which you can see here in line 30 uh, where it's highlighted and so um, that has actually gone away now this this ability so version 2.x um, was less secure and so version 3.2 is actually more secure although it's a bit more cumbersome just to retrieve the data but we're going to use this same code base to build upon that data so first things first go ahead and visit Facebook for developers uh, which you can visit at developers.facebook.com and what you'll do is go ahead and log in to your account I'm not going to log in just for security reasons um, of revealing uh, certain things that I'm uh, involved with in terms of niche sites and whatnot so I'm not going to reveal that but go ahead and log in and uh, get your credentials set up as well as go ahead and set up your first app and when you do that you'll need to retrieve your app ID as well as your app secret uh, be careful about um, publicizing that app secret you don't want to do that you don't want to put it anywhere publicly uh, where the world wide web may see it so that being said um, you can venture over into Docs and then what we're looking for is under reference is the URL and then you can select the necessary uh, graph API version in this case it's 3.2 that we'll be using in this tutorial as you can see it gives you um, many different examples here uh, whether you're making an HTTP request through a browser um, whether you use the PHP uh, software development kit SDK JavaScript Android, iOS, or even the Graph Explorer, it basically gives you the necessary code that you need to be able to successfully make the API call. Um, so for this given one, the permissions that are needed, any access token can be used to make this request. Uh, the fields that it will return are the app links, the ID, the engagement, and the OG underscore object, so the open graph object and so what we're after is really engagement so in the sample request you can see here if you're using um, if you're using uh, like a command line or terminal then you can basically copy and paste this in and be sure to replace the uh, necessary ID as well as make sure you have the user token there um, then it will return for any given URL uh, that information so as long as you have engagement as a field that is um, described then it will return uh, a JSON object of that engagement and so what's interesting about the old way the old way was pretty it was more simple um, this way you're gonna have to do a bit more math to get the total amount of likes or engagement um, so you're gonna have to basically add up all of these and we'll jump into the code uh, here shortly to show you that and then it basically just gives you you know what publishing deleting and updating rights that you have so that being said let's go ahead and jump over into the code and basically this is a PHP file you'll want to uh, replace your app ID with the actual app ID um, you'll want to replace your dash app uh, secret uh, you want to replace that 
and then basically type in whatever the URL is and then this URL that's below is the actual URL that we're using to make the call um, and if you're not able to see the code uh, that's here then you can actually visit kickstartcommerce.com and search for Facebook graph um, API version 3.2 or just type in Facebook graph um, API 3.2 and it should take you to the tutorial and display this code for you um, nevertheless it's the same code that we have so I'm not going to go through all that that detail really if you get the first four lines of the code correct then that should uh, suffice in terms of being able to successfully make the call now we did make some changes here at the bottom so lines uh, 42 through 45 we made some changes basically to get the total count we um, uh, basically add up the engagement reaction count the engagement comment count and then the uh, engagement share count so that we can get the total engagement so total likes so that we can actually display that total like and then we just number format using PHP's built-in number underscore format uh, method and then pass in the total underscore count variable and so what it looks like is when you execute this in code then basically for bats in austin.com you now see it has a reaction count of 660 a comment count of 368 a share count of 408 a comment plugging count of zero for a total count of 1436 likes rather engagement but when you look at and we'll go to um, bats in austin but when you look at a site that shows you the counts uh, for a given website then you'll see that the site actually shows you 1.4k well that 1.4k consists of all of these items here um, total so it doesn't show um, you know the full 1000 it basically just shows 1.4 and then it puts you know a k there so that's how easy it is to use the Facebook graph version 3.2 um, API and so uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions certainly leave comments below the video uh, or you can also visit kickstartcommerce.com and search for that same tutorial leave me a comment if it helped you out um, you know so last but not least please subscribe to this YouTube channel where I deliver a video every Wednesday um, in addition, please visit kickstartcommerce.com and on the right hand side here where it says the daily scoop, I give, um, I share with you a lot of knowledge, whether it's search marketing, WordPress tips and tricks, uh, whether it's, um, you know, coding tips and tricks or just digital strategies and disciplines to help you grow your business. So go ahead and sign up here, subscribe today and, uh, you know, start receiving this need to know information. So thanks. And that's all for now.